Hello, everyone, and welcome to CCTV America. I'm Asiye Namdar. By any means necessary, that's how a coalition of more than two dozen nations are vowing to fight Islamic State. International diplomats met in Paris to lay out their plan of attack. It involves military force training and humanitarian aid. For now, that battle will be fought in Iraq and not Syria, which serves as home base to IS terrorists. CCTV's Kate Parkinson explains from Paris. Diplomats from around the world gathered in Paris on Monday amid fresh outrage over the beheading of yet another Western hostage by Islamic State extremists. The fight of the Iraqi people against terrorists is ours as well, and we have to act together. This is the whole purpose of this conference. We have to stand by the Iraqi authorities clearly, loyally, and strongly, and there is no time to lose. Two countries not present at the talks were Iran and Syria. Western officials have made clear that they consider Syria's government part of the problem, and Iran was struck off the invitation list because of Tehran's close links to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. It's a decision Iraq's president described ahead of the conference as regrettable. I think it's necessary that Iran be present at this conference because we have a nearly 1,000-kilometer border with them. And from the first day that the Islamic State group made itself known by attacking Mosul, Iran gave us humanitarian and military aid. Following the conference, the French foreign minister said the anti-IS coalition had agreed to provide military aid to Iraq to fight the extremist network. Now seeing 30 countries who are among the most powerful countries in the world who are in very different geographical, practical, ideological situations, all saying we have decided to fight against the Daesh. Not only do we want to push it back, but want to defeat it. The French foreign minister using the Arabic acronym for the group which also calls itself the Islamic State, likely to reflect the fact that the international community does not consider the group to be a state, nor do they consider them to be Islamic. But despite the promises of military assistance to Iraq, there were few details given as to what exactly that assistance is going to be or which countries are going to provide it nor was there any mention of Syria, where the Islamic State extremists also occupy huge swathes of territory. Fighting the IS extremists in Syria is certainly going to provide a much bigger diplomatic challenge. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Paris.